Hey everyone, Tim the Collect Jurassic, and we're back with another Jurassic World Dominion unboxing. But we're looking at something a little smaller today. That is the new Jurassic World Dominion Minis line. This is really, really exciting. Uh, if you think you know about Mattel Jurassic Minis, Dominion is about to change everything with their version of the popular toy line. Of course, if you collected Jurassic for a while, you know that uh, we do have Minis already. Um, but the one thing that about these toys that Mattel have been coming out with since Fallen Kingdom is that they, they all share the same size. So like the T-Rex is the same size as the blue. Um, the Triceratops is, you know, smaller than blue. All because they, they kind of occupy the, the same size no matter what species they are. But what's cool about these new Dominion toys is they actually factor in scale. So you're going to have tiny raptors next to big T-Rexes. You're going to have human figures. It's just really, really cool. So you can even see like here on the box... Um, some of that scale at play with the smaller raptors and the tross raptors and gallimimus. So really, really cool little play feature with these and the paint applications on these are amazing. But uh, enough talking about them. Let's go ahead and actually unbox them and review them. I know that's why everyone's watching today. I've got the entire wave of the uh, blind boxes, which do have codes. I will share the codes in the caption of this video if you're looking to kind of crack the code on finding these in store. Um, I also have these awesome Carnotaurus Clash Pack and Chaotic Cargo Pack. Really fun packaging, of course, when it comes to time to unbox those, we'll take a look. But inside is some mystery dinos, human characters, um, a lot of cool stuff across this entire range. And there's play sets, which we aren't going to look at in today's video because we have so many dinosaurs to unbox and all that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to these uh, blind boxes, I guess. I keep wanting kind of to call them blind bags. That's how this line used to be. But they're actually um, boxes that you can rip open. The packaging here is actually pretty clever. It's like a little crate. Uh, there's a little keypad on it. Um, of course, you got the Dominion logo, but it almost looks like a, a cargo container. It's got all the legal stuff on the back, um, legal stuff on the bottom. Here you can see the code here. Um, so again, I'll put the codes in the cap in the caption of this video. But uh, DO2A is is uh, unique to this dinosaur inside, uh, or dinosaurs, I should say. Some of these have um, two dinosaurs in them. Some of them only have one, depending on the size. So that's the whole assortment. And of course, we'll be getting them all out um, as we go through this video. Another thing I want to call is there's like a little perforated edge so you can rip off this top part of it too. Um, which I'll probably only do on one of these because I kind of like the boxes and I, and I want to keep them. Um, but we'll go ahead and see what that looks like, of course, too. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and rip open this uh, this awesome set. Yeah, so see how it kind of just pops open like that? And then you pull out the... Oh, I love it. You pull that out and then... Uh, oh, this is Giga, huh? Also comes with a little insert here, too. Oh, man, this thing's bigger than... Uh, this thing's big. It's bigger than the, the bigger figures before. So that's uh, Giganatosaurus here. Um, you know, it's got a nice soft base color with the contrast. This is cool. This is really cool. It's got made of softer rubber, though. I would say, like, from these other toys. These are harder. Um, but uh, but Giga here is softer. I'm not going to do a size comparison until we get T-Rex out. I think that's going to be a little bit more... Um, a little bit more informative, but it does have the articulation of the jaw. No painted teeth here. This is just a you know, pretty simple figure. Um, but the first thing I noticed is definitely that softer plastic. The Oh, it's got a peg on the bottom too. I'm guessing that's because uh, the play sets it fits into. And then it, uh, it stands up pretty well. Um, it's got nice little detail on the eyes here. You can see the eyes have a little bit of paint on them, which is fun. Um, you know, as far as detail on the mold goes, it's definitely got a couple scratches, a couple scales. It's nothing crazy at this small articulation, or sorry, small, small size with limited articulation. You're just not going to get that kind of detail. But, um, I mean, the ridges have really cool detail. You can see all the kind of plating of the ridges, too. So, Giganatosaurus, the big baddie for Jurassic World Dominion. First figure I unboxed. Um, and then, of course, we have a little insert here, which uh, you can see all the different figures available in this range. doesn't show how they group up, but it does show, um, you know, all the individual figures. So, pretty cool. I might need that later for, uh, for um, you know, saying the names of these t these figures. Well, this one's actually already kind of unboxed, untaped over here. So, we'll just pull it out. 
And this one is going to be, so uh, if you're following along with codes, this was a DO2A, which was a Giganatosaurus. Again, I'll, I'll put these in the caption, but um, this is DO6A. DO6A and DO6A is looking like lots of Coatless and Gallimimus. So we'll pull Gallimimus out here. So as you can see how much smaller Gallimimus is compared to um, Giganatosaurus. I mean, how fun is that? That size difference. Um, again, that wasn't a thing with the line before, but now you can actually see how they scale up next to each other. This Gallimimus is the spitting image, too, of uh, the uh, attack pack, Mattel Gallimimus, that's come out previously. Same sculpt. Oh, no, I dropped him on the floor. He's the same sculpt, and he's also got the same paint, more or less, or, you know, plastic. Um, pretty funny. It almost reminds me of a baby Gallimimus. That might be, might be kind of a fun toy photo at some point to do some baby Gallimimuses. So good idea for you toy photographers out there. That's Gallimimus, not not the most exciting species, but this one I'm really excited about. This is uh, lots of coatless. Definitely one of the most exciting new species for me coming to Dominion. Um, and it looks like the spitting image, again, of, uh, of at least the film version this time, not a, not a uh, Mattel toy unless you count the, the bigger Quetzalcoatlus sphere coming out, but this is pretty big, big toy too. It's got that peg down there. I wonder if there's like a stand or something this will go in. But a nice painted beak, painted uh, like kind of crest on the head. The eyes are painted, wings are painted, and of course you have a little bit of articulation too with those wings, so it can it can kind of open them and make them flap. It, it came sort of folded back in the package, like this, kind of make it diving. But I kind of like keeping them open and flapping. So that's Quetzalcoatlus and Gallimimus. That was a, that that one was a two pack. Go ahead and open another one up. And get my knife here so I can keep these boxes without totally destroying them. Um, and we'll see what's inside this one. The code on this one is going to be 1A. This one is 1A. And inside 1A is, we have a T-Rex. This one's not a new mold. This is basically just a repurposed, repurposed mold from, um, from the existing maze line. Nothing too fancy about this one. It's got the, the jaw that opens, it's got the eyes that are black, but this is not a new figure. Not, not even in really a new colorway. I like how they did the wash on it. That's kind of cool. It's got a very light wash, but I don't know. This one's, I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, come on, T-Rex is supposed to be like one of the, the most exciting species of, of Dominion and or Jurassic in general, but Dominion too. And this is just sort of a phoned in kind of re-release. And it's almost, it is, it's the exact same size as the, uh, as the previously released one. They didn't even like, well, didn't even tweak the size. These things are so small, they keep falling out of my hands. It's literally the exact same figure. Um, it's It's got a softer rubber and a different color, but I bet if I dug through all my minis, I could find one of this exact same color. So um, nothing too exciting with, with T-Rex there. Does, does she even stand? No, she kind of stands. She wants to fall over, but she kind of stands. Um, Oh, it's got the hole, the, the hole in its foot too, which is funny because um, the other one didn't. So they must fit into a playset somehow. That's T-Rex. Again, not the most exciting thing in the world. This one is um, 8A. So let's go ahead and see what's inside box number 8A. Let's see, let's see. This one, oh, we got another flying reptile here. Also have Triceratops. Love that Triceratops. Look at that. I love the pose. It reminds me of, um, it kind of reminds me of the canceled Lost World Triceratops. Anybody else? That kind of downward um, ramming position. But I like the painted horns. I like the coloration of the back there. It's got some nice detail. And it's definitely smaller than the uh, previous Triceratops here. Here's the previous one. Uh, I, this one was actually a really cool figure when it came out because I like how it has the the head that poses. So you are missing some of those limited articulation features on some of these, but you can see size-wise, um, this one's a much smaller. Um, but then again, that's so that it scales with the other figures. So you got, this is kind of like a medium-sized one, right? You got small Gallimimus, you got medium Triceratops, then you have like large Giganatosaurus. So um, just do that little size comparison there. You can see the difference 
in sizes on my table. Small, medium, and large. Pretty cool. Love the scale. We also have a Pteranodon, which this is kind of an interesting colorway. This, again, is kind of ripped from uh, a bigger Mattel figure. It was one of the first big Pteranodon figures we got. I actually have it on the shelf, but I'm not going to reach up and get it. Um, but it's literally like the same version with this yellow beak and everything. So a funny colorway they picked for this one. No articulation here. Uh, it's got the peg. I like the little uh, Rex symbol it has on its wing. Are these other ones? Yeah, they have got like Rex symbol on its foot. So they still have that Rex symbol. Um, no articulation. Literally just a pteranodon. Um, but the colorway is really fun. I love that yellow. It's a nice callback to that bigger Mattel figure. Uh, this code is... We got 3A over here. Let's see what's behind door 3A. Ooh, new species. Looks like we have a Tarasaraptor and Stegosaurus. So see, this Stegosaurus has that articulation from the older figures with a, a tail that that uh, swings back and forth. I love the colors on this one. Look at the the like tan plates. Uh, the, the the tail does not blend with the body at all. It doesn't have any of that darker airbrushed like effect on it. Um, got little painted eyes, little black painted eyes. Um, otherwise, this this Stegosaurus figure is no, it's not. I was gonna say it's pretty similar, um, but it really isn't. It's got a totally different pose than the old figure. Um, it's kind of lower to the ground. It's hunkered down. This one has all of its legs, you know, firmly out from the body, whereas this one's sort of, again, like leaning down. Same, you know, uh, action feature with the, the tail that swings, right? But a different figure. I love the colors though. I mean, that definitely made it a point to have all of these figures have different colors. And Stegosaur is even a little bit bigger than uh, Triceratops. So maybe there's more sizes than small, medium, and large. Let's not forget. The other guy in here, this looks like a Tarasaraptor ghost. I love how small this thing is. That's really cool. And it literally looks like a Tarasaraptor ghost. I mean, I have the 12 inch figure, uh, which I don't have near me. Um, and uh, man, I should have got some more figures out for this uh, comparison. Didn't realize there's going to be so many miniature versions of bigger figures, but this one definitely fits the bill of a uh, the Tarasaraptor ghost. It's got the right silhouette and the right colors. I love the little detail on it. It's so funny. And uh, it's, you know, kind of the size of, I guess, Gallimimus. So uh, we're getting a nice little lineup here of, uh, of dinosaurs now. Giga, Giga is a little bit bigger than the T-Rex. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep arranging these according to size. Because I, I really get a kick out of the scale on these. I think that's, you know, kind of what's most exciting for me. So we'll go ahead and open up the next box, which is... 5A, rip into this one. Ooh, another new, two new Dominion species. We have Therizinosaurus and looks like, what is this one called? See, I gotta, I gotta get my uh, little guide out here. This one is called the Lysterosaurus, Ly Lysterosaurus, Lysterosaurus. You guys will correct me, uh, but the, here it is. This is this is with the one that Colin Trevorrow teased a photo of in a cage, and here's like the miniature version of. It. I love the little painted, um, I guess you not fangs, I don't know, horns or tusks. Um, he's cute though. He's got kind of a little chunky, chubby body. Uh, there's like wrinkled detail in the neck to make him look even more chunky, and he's got nice subtle pattern and painted eyes. He's definitely one of the smaller figures. For sure. Then we got Therizinosaurus, which looks just like the other Mattel figures. Of course, we have the, the bigger size figure that I reviewed on the channel. We also have um, the six inch figures. And this is, you know, obviously a little bit smaller than that. Um, it has posable claws, though. I mean, look at this. You can, it's got, yeah, they're just on like a back and forth hinge, but you can do some crazy claw moves with it, which that's, that's kind of fun, right? And have some, uh, have some action with that. I mean, I think that the way it uses its claws are going to be sort of signature in the movie. So they added a little bit of articulation. I feel like it should be bigger though. Shouldn't it be like as big as the T-Rex? I guess it is. Now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely as, as big as the T-Rex. So 
That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put Giga, or sorry, Threezo in the lineup here. Got so many dinosaurs already. Two more blind boxes to go, and then we can hit these truck or these rig play sets. Sorry, the code on this one is uh, DO7A. So this is box seven. Let's see what's inside. Looks like we got Baryonyx, Iguanodon, um, the classic Baryonyx color too. Um, I want to call it chaos, but I know this is just regular Bryonyx. I really like this. It's got way, way, way more contrast than, uh, do we have a Bryonyx over here? Yeah, this is like sort of the previous version of it. This is always cool though. It's metallic. It has like a poseable jaw. This is the old one. The new one is obviously a much crisper detailed. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like all these little scales and stuff on it. And the paint is just, again, more crisp, but none of that jaw articulation, but you do have little tiny painted yellow eyes on both sides so that's kind of amazing how they got that little bit of paint in that tiny spot but we still get misprinted raptor eyes all the time and it it fits in to this size lineup pretty nice it's not it's sort of smaller than the stegosaurus for sure but bigger than triceratops so there's a lot of a lot of dynamic sizes going on um across all these minis I've unboxed so far. Oh, let's not forget Iguanodon. Brand new species for Jurassic is Iguanodon. I'm excited. Always liked Iguanodon as a kid. So finally getting a toy of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting a Roar Striker version in the three and three quarter line of this figure too. So this one you recognize from the prologue. It's eating grass and then it looks up and sees Giganotosaurus. It's got a nice light colored head and a pretty uh, sort of saturated pattern on the back. That's a fun little herbivore that we are, not one that we've gotten previously. So we'll go ahead and stick it in our ever-growing mini lineup. These things are so cool. I mean, I know that I get excited about pretty much every toy I review, but I love these. I mean, look at how they're all different sizes. Look how big Giga is next to uh, Lister Listerosaurus. I mean, I just, I love the size difference. I can't wait to open up. I, I guess there's, is there raptors in this wave? It's got to be one in this final box. Final box is code 4A. So I'll go ahead and get code 4A out. Oh, yeah. Blue's in here along with... Let me get my guide out. Along with... Ying, Ying Chuanosaurus. Another figure we have a... Uh, Based on a larger figure, there's a massive action version. Literally the exact same colorway of it with the red crest on its head. But, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's literally a miniature version of that toy, which is actually pretty fun. Um, and it's got little painted yellow eyes. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Little painted yellow eyes. Um, other than that, no articulation. It's got a little bit softer um, detail to it. I wouldn't call it super detailed like Baryonyx. Um, but it's it's bigger. It definitely is like almost as big as Therizinosaurus. I would say it's a little bit smaller than Therizinosaurus. Yep, let's go ahead and put him in the lineup there. New carnivore. And then we got Little Blue. Last but not least, Little Blue, which this one's hilarious because the, the previous mini version of this is, is humongous. It's like Mega Blue. And this just goes to show you how they've completely revisited the mini line to, to um, incorporate scale. Uh, and it really works. Blue over here is the size of a Tarasaraptor, but, you know, smaller than Giga. So um, that's just a fun, a fun way to make this mini line even better and more, play, more playability for kids too, to add that extra dimension of scale. Um, it makes it all more realistic, right? Especially when you get play sets and vehicles and all that stuff. I'm bummed I didn't get any vehicles to, to uh, like any matchbox or anything to compare these two. But honestly, I don't have those out of my collection. So they weren't, they weren't, weren't going to be an easy thing to get out. But um, that's the whole box lineup. If you buy, what, how many boxes did I open? Uh, seven? Or no, was it? No, it was eight boxes altogether. You get all of these dinosaurs. These are about five bucks a pop, so not a bad deal. Um, I mean, look at this little dino zoo I have, this miniature Jurassic World. Um, it's, 
it's fantastic. And again, placements are on the way, so um, it's just gonna make this whole lineup that much more complete. But let's go ahead and open up these awesome truck packs. Again, we have Contours Clash Pack and the Chaotic Cargo Pack. Let me move my my little parade of dinosaurs back so we can open these up. Um, and then, uh, yeah, inside of these is, uh, as you can see, there's four dinosaurs and one human character. That's right, there's human characters now. It seems like not that long ago we were complaining about no human characters in the main line. And now we not only have them in the main line, but we have them in these miniature lines too. So just really spoiled with, uh, you know, cool toys. Um, and the packaging for these is so fun. I mean, look at this thing. It's like a little truck with wheels. Um, it's got like, it's even got like a front headlights. You can see the reflection of the forest. You can see someone driving. It looks like Owen. Um, you can see it has a Carnotaurus inside, uh, all that stuff. It's even got the uh, taillights on the back. So it's literally like a little truck. Almost don't want to open it because the packaging is so fun. But that's what we're here to do is open it. I am going to open it carefully because, again, this is just a box I want to try to keep. Hopefully I can just open the back here. Yeah, pull the toys out. So there is the toys inside, and the truck is just empty now. But um, it even has, like, a background in there. Do you see that? There's, like, a background in there. So... It almost looks like a truck. That is hilarious. Oh, I see, because you can, you can, um, these things are all, no, I thought these, these holes were perforated, but they're not. That's so funny that they added this, this background in here. I think that's hilarious when there's no window or anything. I mean, do, does this stuff come off? No, it doesn't. I thought maybe these windows were perforated so you could look inside, but, or no. This whole thing opens. Okay, well, we'll do that with the next thing. We'll do that with the next toy, I promise. Um, we'll get the full effect, but that's the truck packaging without opening the front flap. Let's go ahead and get some dinos out. Well, I just noticed these trucks are different sizes too. Can you see that? They're totally different trucks. They have different front ends. They have a different shape even. They're different trucks. This is more of like a like a cargo truck, and this one's more of like a pickup truck with a, uh, a crate on the back. Even the crates are different too. So it's like really really funny. I love that love that attention to detail. So and inside we got um, we got another whatever you call this one. Uh, what is it? Lister Listosaurus. It's literally the exact same figure as the one that we unboxed. Look at the little guys, so cute. Also comes with another trike. Kind of disappointed that they didn't do different colorways um, with these. I mean, it's literally the exact same figure. Literally the exact same figure. Um, but I have a little Triceratops herd, so not gonna complain too much. Also have another Baryonyx in here. Looks to be the exact same as the Previous Baryonyx, so nothing fancy there. Um, the same figure, 100%. So we have a couple repeats now. A couple Baryonyx, a couple, couple uh, Trikes, a couple Listerosaurus. sources. We also have Carnotaurus here. This one, um, this actually looks a little bit different than the previous version. Did I, did I get that? I did. So it's actually smaller than the um, old uh, mini Carnotaurus. Rightfully so. This one would be too big with the new scale. Um, reminds me a lot of the... Oh, it's got a very dark pattern on the back, too. Um, the other ones were so subtle. But this one definitely feels more like the very first action attack Mattel Carnotaurus we got. Nice white underbelly. Blends in with the jaw. It's got little painted black eyes. I would like the horns to be painted. I feel like it kind of adds a little bit more detail to this. But um, this Carnotaurus is, I think, exclusive to this set. Um, and, of course, it should be, you know, it's comparable in size to Giganotosaurus. Um, no, it's pretty, it's smaller than Giganotosaurus. It's more comparable in size to that one. So um, just a, a, mid, a mid-sized carnivore, if you will. And then, of course, we have a human character. We got Claire in here. Yes, that's right, a miniature version of Claire. I love it. She's so small. Um, and is there a take? Yeah. I think she has, I think her, 
legs move, maybe? Yeah, her legs move. Ugh, I'm a little nervous. Or no. Yeah, her, her like, waist moves. Oh, and her, and her arms move. Look at that. I mean, come on. That's adorable. And, yep, yeah, her, um, she sits, too. So she's got the peg in her foot. She's got limited articulation with the waist. She's so small. I know it's kind of hard to see. She's got waist articulation. She has leg articulation. And then she also has arm articulation. Her head does not move, but there is some incredible detail. I mean, can you see this right now? She has eyes. Her eyes are painted. Look at that. That's crazy. Um, and she's definitely a spitting image of her bigger three and three quarter figure um, from Mattel. I mean, you can see they have the same, oops, same dark pants, same top, same boots, obviously the same hair. Um, that's hilarious. Look how, look how uh, much of a match she is. That's, that's funny. So first ever mini human figures from Mattel. And I'm thrilled to see they have articulation. I think that's, it cracks me up. Um, so last one, we have the Chaotic Cargo Pack. I'm going to open this one correctly, or rather preview it correctly by cutting this bottom piece of tape very carefully. Oh man, there's tape all over this thing. I don't know why they added this window if you can't actually open it that way. That seems kind of silly to me. Um, it's literally all taped up so you can't open it with this, this preview window. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you guys watching. So you open this window up. I said you open this window up. There's just tape all over it. I don't know why they added this feature if you can't use it. You open this window up and inside you can touch the figure. You can also do these little perforated. See what you can open these up. These are all perforated so that you can pop them open. You can see the dinosaurs inside. You can see the human inside, which is Owen, which of course he's not gonna let me get out get him out to him. I don't want to mangle this box too bad. There's Owen inside. Oh, cardboard came off. So yeah, they have those like the little cargo bay doors on these, which is pretty funny. Um and then there's Allosaurus inside too. So you can literally shut it and it's like a false front. You can shut it and then it goes right back to looking like um looking like the truck. So Go ahead and open this one up from the back and get the toys out. Oh, they're already falling out. This one came with a lot more new figures, uh, it seems. Uh, no repaints, no re-releases. We have a little Dimorphodon here. I mean, look how, look how tiny Dimorphodon is. Again, we got to compare it to the massive Dimorphodon that came out in the Minis line before. I mean, look how much... Look at the size difference on this. Um, and the Dimorphodon is actually even smaller than the Tranodon of this current Minis line. Um, here it is next to Claire over here. So nice little miniature dinosaur, or sorry, miniature flying reptile. Whew, that was a close one. And then out of the, all the Minis line, we have um, Quetzalcoatlus, Dimorphodon, and Mini, all three sized, totally different sized flying reptiles. Also have another Stegosaurus, which this Stegosaurus is totally like a bigger Mattel figure um, that I recognize. Same exact sculpt as the uh, the other Stegosaurus, just a totally different paint scheme, which I think is fun. Look at the, how different the paint schemes are. I don't know why they didn't do that with Triceratops and the Lystrosaurus. We should have gotten different paint applications for those if they were going to repack them, in my opinion. But two Stegosaurus, that's fun. Um, we also have blue again which is literally identical to the other blue. Nothing too exciting there, you can see. Um, and then we have Allosaurus. Which this is a, this, ooh, look at Allosaurus has got a broken leg. What a bummer, look at that. <laughs> I don't know if there's, I don't know if Allosaurus is gonna, gonna stand again, but this is a new figure. They never made one of these for the mini. So it's kind of like it's a battle at Big Rock appearance, very blue and tan. It's got the jaws that open and roar. Other than that, <laughs> two poor Allosaurus is never going to be able to walk again. He's like the... Oh, he kind of stands up. How about that? Last but not least, we have um, Owen in here to go with our Claire. We go ahead and try to prop up 
poor Allosaurus over there. Um, so similar to Claire, he's going to have arm articulation. He's going to have waist articulation. So you can say, oh, over here, the dinosaurs. Also has the uh, the legs. His legs move a lot better than Claire's. Um, there are the little little guys right there. Um, I wonder why they sit. I wonder if they can like sit in vehicles or something. I hope so. Um, he's kind of like his bigger figure. He's, his shirt's not quite as blue as the uh, new Dominion Owen, but the pants and the boots are a spitting image. Just the shirt isn't quite as blue. Um, two little human figures, though. I love that. That is so fun. So you can see all the figures we have out now. Um, kind of the all the scale at play which as I said before we even started unboxing things, that's what makes this lineup so fun is the uh, all the different scale of these figures. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my doubles out of here that we don't need, um, just so we can just you know kind of see them all together now that we've gotten everything out, just how impressive this lineup is of miniature figures. The only thing I, I would say I'm disappointed with is my warped leg Allosaurus, but I'm guessing that's just um, that's just bad luck on my part. <laughs> um, maybe I'll pick up another one and re replace it since it's clearly defective. Um, but look at these guys. It's so cool. I'm going to put Giga in the middle here because he's so cool. Um, all these miniature guys. And then, as I mentioned elsewhere in this review, uh, there is play sets coming. So there'll be um, actual, like, you know, enclosures and trees and all kinds of rock features that we'll be able to um, put our dinosaurs in, as well as, like, play sets where we can have, like, action happen with, you know, uh, Sanctuary. And I think the other one is, like, a sub or Mosasaurus base. So, yeah, Mosasaurus is another mini. So mini line from Mattel. Uh, hope you kind of got an idea of how exciting this uh, this idea of scale is with these figures and how everything scales together. That's what makes this so special and uh, tons of new species coming out right, right out of the gate. Play sets, all that fun stuff, um, all coming out for Jurassic World Dominion. So um, couldn't be happier to get these and share them with you because I'm obviously very excited about them. But I think that's all I got for today's review. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.